So, fun fact. The artist who basically made a lot of the icons for the characters in Overworld, he actually made the um, thumbnail that I'm actually using for a lot of these videos. And the character hero on that thumbnail is one we're going to be playing today, and the last one I have to play. So, let's get into the tourist. A sightseer. Your styling equipment sucks. Get new stuff. Purchases cost all your money on hand. Clarence Smilup surveyed the scene with renewed optimism. This underworld place sounded like selfie heaven, far more exotic than home. The overworld boasted vast oceans and sprawling deserts. His home had but muted gray ponds and monoculture mon flatlands. Vernon Pixie Infested Forest outperformed uniform business elms, spirited shopkeeps, Megamart. Paradise. Now, where's the ATM? There's the stats. And there's the wins to losses ratio. So, unless this isn't our fairly hard character to play, so expect to see some losses. I suppose I should actually go over his traits, shouldn't I? So, here's this guy's traits. This is an air max experienced character, so he gets most, uh, you know, more experience than most characters. He starts with a camera. Activating the camera causes all nearby seeing creatures to be stunned for one turn. Now, unfortunately, it's a fairly weak effect, by the way, so it's not that useful. Like, say, like the Splunky camera is Splunky. But, um, you know, whatever, it does what it does. There's a shirt. This hero starts with a shirt item. This cursed armor has no defense value. It does not cause overheating, but makes swimming more difficult. So, basically guys has a cursed item on his character. I start with some coins, so I can actually buy some stuff. Though, as I basically said in the bio there, I'm generous, so I give, it's to give all my coins up whenever I try and buy something. Flip flops. This hero starts with flip flops. These cursed tool reduces attack strength. Cursed items can only be removed by swapping it for another item of the same category. All right, so camera, shirt, and flip flops. Let's go. All right, so let's go over this guy's items here in like the game world. There's his camera. So basically, it's like my active item that I can basically use multiple multiple times. I kind of wish the camera did a little bit more to make it a little bit more stand, you know, stand outish. Like maybe stun like creatures, and you can actually move away from a turn. But you know, the stun only go goes for, like you know the turn you're basically on, and they basically become unstunned right after. There's the shirt. Only protects against the heat. Can't be dropped. So cooling curse tomorrow logged. And there's the flip flops. Relaxing but hard to fight in. So these basically give you the ability to. Um, heal up a little faster, which is nice. But they like hurt your attack strength, which, which sucks. I see the temple, find it for me, explore. And yeah, no nope, problem, I basically like, you know, out here in the desert and nothing's affecting me, which is nice. Okay, let's see here. None of this stuff is really uh, interesting to me, unfortunately. So yeah, just to sort of demonstrate the camera. That's the thing, like, it could be more, like, you know, useful if it basically lasted, like, you know, the turn basically after this one, but it doesn't really do anything for me, so it's, it's useless, so to speak, unfortunately. Okay, let's see here. I'll move up here. I'll drop the camera so that basically the feast going to steal, hopefully, the um, shirt or the... Uh, the flip-flops off me. Okay, there goes my shirt. Excellent. And I can buy a saddle, which will basically give me some, some attack strength if I want. 
So now if I find something to tame, I can make use of that, I guess. And lo and behold, a parrot. I'm not a flying tourist. This is a very good start for a tourist, by the way. Because I'm basically able to run around like crazy. Keep searching the wilderness in case everywhere. Huh, I thought my parrot had like, you know, arm piercing, but I guess it doesn't. Unfortunate. I'm not sure I'm flying in here, but we'll see. We'll take this egg to help hatch the salamander with, I think. There's the temple. Nope, by the way, when you basically open a chest and have no weapon, you get a weapon, so there's a weapon for us. Bam. Perfect. Oh yeah, I landed there for a moment, so that happened. Let's take this. Lots of garlic in here. Where'd he go? Oh, badger. You can die. Made it my friends lost at sea. Let's see here. I wouldn't mind getting a scroll. I get swallowed, it's fine. You're inside the whale, someone cries out in the distance. He's right there. Uh, where'd the rock go? Oh well. There's a clock. Map has the exit, let's go. Joy made out. There we go, heal my steed. Nice wizard hat. And look at that, I'm still riding a parrot even though, you know, I don't have a saddle anymore. Okay, let's go back in here. Try and find uh, the relic of old. Which could be right there. Nope. Uh, I don't want to land here, so let's poison the anaconda here. There's a relic of pepper shaker. And there is a very lucky tourist win. I need to get over there now, so let's try doing that. Perfect. We all get lonely sometimes. 
So there's basically an expert tourist win for you guys. I wasn't expecting to get it that easily. This is a hard character to play, by the way. Impossible. Alright, I probably won't have as much luck as they basically did in the expert run, but whatever. Beast attack? Okay. Leave me out of town, she says. Let's take you there. Oh, that's unfortunate. Excellent. Sort of. Sort of excellent. Sort of excellent. I saved the village. There's a weapon for my trouble when I get around to it. Hmm. Now, something to note, by the way, is that because I have the camera here, you can't actually like make use of it like this to sort of like stun things and like you know deserts and stuff like that to kill them. This is like the one you use basically if you have like a damage over time effect on them. The princess kidnapped. And do this now. You got a weapon. That works for me. You pick up a ball of yarn. Something is down here. So you're over there. Take the key. Nice fan. Well, this will work. The beast lies dead, the princess is safe. She must be in the darkness over here, so... There she is. I'll get a reward for helping her out. Just a quick ice scroll, that's alright. Better for any of that stuff. There's an inn. By the way, note that I'm carrying the lantern because I've wanted to basically check to see if it lets me see hidden things. I'm not sure where the squirrel is, but yeah, I don't think it lets you see hidden things, unfortunately. Let's go in here and try and find the legendary treasure. My CD set up around. There goes the turtle. The Relic of the Helm. We'll take the Relic of the Helm. A CD stat, I guess. 
I know there's an L on that key there, by the way, so we're just gonna avoid it. All right, let's get out of here. Those guys are scary, of course. Whoop, there's the tiger. And when you look at that, my first impossible win with the turrets, right off the bat. This is supposed to be a hard character to play, by the way, but I'm just getting lucky. Which happens. My food is lost in the castle. Dungeon, please find it. Yeah, I don't actually hurt that guy, right? So... There we go, shop. I can replace the um, the shirt right away. Though getting a weapon is nice too. But I think I'll replace the shirt. Just because that's like, you know, one coin there, so... Whoops. And there's a shuriken. I guess I was way too long, but well, we'll take the shuriken. You can die. And there we go, we got rid of flip flops. Alright, well. Hmm. I do like that, but not for a curse, really, so... We'll climb steep terrain a little easier. I'm gonna drop this here, because it's not actually that useful to me in here. Oh, this is scary. Ow. Oh great, now I got this guy to deal with. There was that. Let's make a friend out of you. So we got a coin. I'm able to find something. And yeah, that's where you can see where it really sucks playing the tourists because you need to find a weapon or something like that to sort of help out yourself. And you just don't find one. At least I climbed the hills pretty fast. Great, snails. Okay, let's go in here. Hope we get a good scroll here. That's useful, but not helpful. There we go. That'll help. Be my friend!
Well, the Archmage brought us to end my quest, apparently. I have no idea what I just tamed. It must have been a wizard. It must have a diamond or something like that. Whoops, something's got stolen from me. Is that my friend? I don't think so. All the beasts of the jungle want to kill me now. That's still my first quest, I think. Well, I got a weapon at least to fight the bear with. Stun. 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 Dead. Whatever works, right? Ray, it sure is after me now. Oh, this will hurt. Okay, so it does actually stun him, by the way. I just wanted to check that out. We'll take this. And something's blocked my path. Well... Even if I stun it, sure, I'm not actually going to be able to get away from it anyway, so... Game over. See, so yeah, that's a little more typical of what a, you know you should expect from this uh, type of character. Clear past my house. Oh, we got one from right off the bat, and um, something else right off the bat. That's nice. I'm gonna grab this because like, it's a little bit easier to get a weapon than it is to get a tool, I think. Great, another one. There we go. I'll take that punt. Goats, goats, goats. Ow. There we go. Now I got some hearts to work with. I'm looking for a chest bow in here. Take a lot longer than I expected in here because I don't have a weapon, right? So. There we go, spear! Now I can kill this stuff easily enough. Ow. We got rid of pests. We're looking pretty strong. I should be able to get, you know, somewhere in this character. Price open as a wind. 
Let's get a scroll just to help out if I need it. Charm scroll. Nice. Oh, scorpion. Whoops, I just destroyed a scroll. I should have used the first. You're dead. There's a scroll to make up for my trouble. Die. Oh yeah, I can walk in the desert with the cooling shirt, can I? So that's not actually, uh, that much of a problem for me, as you can see. There we go. Now I'm mounted with a spear. I forgot I can feed the goat my shirt, so let's do that. You can die. It's nice having a lantern for this sort of situation. I'll take the meat in case we run into a bear. Meh. I'm going to take the slow scroll instead because I can use that for like ambushes and stuff like that to try and scroll. Well, I could, but then this guy came along. Excellent, they all died. Alright, I got the flute. Let's get out of here. I just realized it makes more sense to use the scroll right now, doesn't it? Let's get out of here! One, two, three. And there we go. The flute was the thrill of the world. Most tamest guys for extra experience or score. Yeah, note by the way, you can see like down here in the um, bottom corner, like you know, where I'm like you know tapping on the screen right now. That's basically a score right there, as it's like you know as it is right at this point. Right there is basically my turn count, so my moves, my time. In case you ever you know missed that, but whatever. So there's a tourist impossible one for you guys. That's all the characters in this game basically played so far. When the developer has some more, I might play some more, but for now, that's it. Take care.